All right, so let's take a quick look at some of the items behind 3.8. Yes, some of these are math problems, but we give you some of the details. But one of the things that, that when we look at here, it says the greatest common divisor of two positive integers. And I'm not showing the entire screen to you here because I've got it on, a, again, on a large monitor. But, so we're looking at the divisor of two numbers. So in this case, just because I know that what, what's going to happen, I've hard-coded them in. Now, obviously, you're going to write that a little differently, and it's going, you know, you're going to ask for those numbers. So I've set them up with the smaller as 36, the larger at 72. So what we're trying to find is the greatest common divisor of the two integers. So what here we're looking at, the greatest common divisor, the biggest number that we can divide into both numbers, actually happens to be this 36. So that's what, what we're going to look at. It, 36 can divide by 36, and 72 can be divided by 36. So I have this set of instructions here. It says compute the remainder by dividing the larger number by the smaller number. But it says what we're actually looking at is the remainder. Oh, interesting. So in a previous problem, what we were looking at was not the remainder, but the whole number of the division problem. Now we're looking at that piece we chopped up. So luckily for us, when I look over here at Python operations, and you can find these anywhere. I just Googled it real quick to have a chart to look at. So there are a couple of them. So we used this floor division earlier. We know we can do exponents, but notice here, there's something weird called the modules. No, oh. divides left-hand operand by right-hand operand and returns the remainder. Hmm. So we divide this, so we divide B by A and it returns the remainder. So let's test this idea. I'm going to put that in there and I'll say, okay, I, I have this thing called this modulus. Maybe there's something to that. And so I might want to say, hey, I'm just going to call this remainder. Simple enough, self-describing my code here. And I want it to be, so notice what it says, dividing the larger number by the smaller. So I want the larger and instead of the division sign, I'm going to use the modulus sign, and then smaller. All right, so just to see what happens, then I'm going to print remainder. So I like when I'm going through here. I do a lot of print statements. I can take them out, um, but it can be a, a good way to do this. So I'm going to run this really quickly, and it says zero. Oh. Well, that makes sense, because if I divide 72 by 36, there's no remainder. So let's change that a little bit. So let's do 31. I know that that, oh, no, 31 would be it. Yeah, let's do 31. All right. So if I do that now, it says 10 is my, my remainder. Oh, okay. And if I change that to 27... And I do that. So that modulus seems to work. It gives us the remainder, that leftover portion that, that we have there. So I think we're on to something here. So we can follow that, the remainder. That, that seems very valid. I'm going to probably just delete that out of there for now. And then it says replace the larger number with the smaller number and the smaller number with the remainder. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna switch these numbers around a little bit, and so we're going to say that the larger number now is going to become the smaller number. Hmm. Okay, and then the smaller number is going to become the remainder. Oh, all right. 
And what we're doing then is we're going to repeat this. So this part will become a loop. And what we're going to loop to is until the smaller number is zero. So I don't know how many times this one's going to loop. So in this case, I probably want a loop that's controlled by some kind of loop control variable. In this case, they tell us that we're going to repeat this block until smaller is zero. So you're going to write some kind of thing. Hint might be a while loop. And then at the end, you're going to then print the common, the greatest common divisor. So I, I think we can give you the core of this one. So this just flips us around. It really follows those directions, but it seemed a little more confusing than, than what it is. So what you're doing, you're finding that remainder and then you're, you're just iterating through those until you find a number that can divide by both of them. So just a shortcut way to do that. Now, if I run this, it's going to give me that invalid syntax. Because I just wrote this and said this is what you should do. But I'm also going to offer this. Make sure you indent as a block what you have in a... And I'm going to say again, it's some kind of a loop. Hint a while loop. All right, hopefully that will get you started and working through this one. This one's one of the shorter programs we're going to do.